Hi my loves and welcome to this short uh, slow flow vinyasa. Um, so today we're really going to be focusing on looking at the lower body and uh, finding a little bit of balance A through stretching out the body and B through focusing on just activating kind of through the body as we practice and really kind of looking at the micro activations that we do when we come into balance. So, um, we're actually going to start lying down for today's class. Um, so if you want to grab hold of any props or blocks that you might need, feel free. Now is the time to. And then when you're ready, just coming down, lying down on the mat, taking the legs out long. And just resting the hands maybe onto the belly, onto the chest. Take a second to work out where feels comfortable. So just take a wiggle, maybe pick up the shoulders and place them back down. Maybe you just point out through the toes whatever it is that you need before you come into that stillness. Um, I would suggest here, if the lower back is feeling icky and, lowing, and laying out long like this doesn't feel particularly great at the start of class, you might just want to take the feet a little bit wider than hip distance and drop the knees together to coming into restorative rest, or we're just taking the pressure off that lower spine here. So whichever position feels better for you, and then closing down through the eyes and seeing if you can really allow the body to feel heavy here at the start of practice. So we're just allowing everything to start to ground down, sinking towards the earth. And just really taking that attention, taking that awareness into the body. So as you breathe here, as you inhale, maybe the belly starts to rise, chest starts to rise. Noticing that inhale and that exhale. Just checking in with how the body's feeling. So noticing if there are any niggles today, anywhere that feels a little bit off, anywhere that feels tired within the body. Just always asking that question before we start practicing, really noticing. And then just setting that intention to practice with kindness today. So there is anywhere that feels niggly. Just setting the intention of practicing with that kindness, so being aware that that's how the body feels. And maybe that means that throughout this practice, your movement is centered on showing a little bit more love to that part of the body. Just breathing here, noticing natural breaths. So we're not trying to change anything, not trying to move anything, just noticing the breath as it is. And then allowing yourself a releasing breath, so breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And as we sigh, we just let go. Let the body sink down. Wherever we are now, just starting to find wiggles through fingertips, through toes. If your knees are together, just taking the legs out long now. And as we inhale here, we're just going to reach the arms up and over the head to so inhale, breathing in. Exhale as those hands land on the mat behind you. And they're just stretching out, so reaching fingertips long. Maybe you start to point the toes now. And from here, just taking that right leg over to the right, taking left leg over to join it. So we're keeping the hips, upper body where it is. And then lifting up the head, and just taking the arms over to the right as well, and then placing them back down. Just coming into banana asana, noticing this opening through the left hand side of the body. So this long line all the way from the pinky finger down through the arm, down through the torso, into the legs. And breathing in here. Noticing that flow of energy into the side of the body. Option to deepen here. You might choose to take the right hand and grasp hold of the wrist. Or maybe even to cross over the left leg on top of the right. Just one more breath here, inhale. Exhale, gently releasing. Taking those legs back through the center line, picking up the head and the arms and moving back through center line as well. And then just moving over to the other side. So picking up the feet, taking them over to the left this time and then picking up head and the arms moving them over to the left and placing them back down. So this time noticing that opening through the right hand side of the body. Again, you might deepen, left hand might take hold of the right wrist. 
you might cross the right ankle over the left. And again, sending that breath down. And coming in through the nose, moving all the way down through the body, through the torso, down towards the feet. Taking just one more breath here, inhale. Exhale gently, taking those feet back through center, taking the arms back through center, and then just taking arms and legs up towards the sky. And just taking some circles here, taking some circles with the ankles, taking some circles with the wrists. Maybe you flex through the feet, point through the feet. Just finding some movement and again, noticing how we're starting to activate through the body. So activating even in the outermost edges, so really stretching through the fingertips, stretching through the toes. And then when you're ready, knees coming in towards the chest, just taking a small rock from side to side, so lower back, lumbar spine, grounding towards the mat. And then taking hands onto the knees, just taking some circles, so using the hands to push those knees away from the body, and then to open the knees out towards the sides, and to draw them back in. So just taking three in each direction, using the hands to push the knees out and draw back round. Taking one more, pushing out, drawing around and back in, and then just going the other way. So drawing knees out to start off with, then back together and in towards the chest. Noticing as the knees start to open out that lower that lumbar spine, lower spine kind of coming off the mat and then drawing back in as the knees draw in. So just taking one more. And then when you get back to here, taking hands behind the knees and just seeing if we can find that little bit of momentum to roll us up. So taking a few rolls forwards and backwards. Or maybe you just use the hands to draw you up, your choice. Coming up and then moving directly onto the hands, taking the knees behind you and dropping back into a kneeling position. Taking the knees a little bit wide and hip distance as we start to arrive here. If you've had the eyes closed, now might be the time to start to open them. And just starting by taking the left hand behind us. And as we inhale, we're gonna to start to draw the right arm up towards the sky and lift the hips. So lifting the hips up towards the sky, dropping the head back if you can, taking the gaze of the drishti up towards the right hand. And as we exhale, just rolling down and we come towards the other side. So the right hand comes behind us. And as we inhale, we lift the hips, take that gaze up towards the left. So just moving between the two sides, exhaling as the hips lower and we move the arms around, inhaling as the hands plant down, as the hips lift, taking gaze up towards the hands. So just moving between the two sides and taking a few here and moving at the speed of your breath. So you might be going faster than me, slower than me, maybe at the same pace. So just taking it in your own time. There's no rush here. Just taking one more on each side. And then when you eventually come back through to neutral, drawing those knees back to just hip distance, so coming back. Inhale, drawing those arms up towards the sky, starting to warm up through the body. Exhale, drawing those hands down through heart center. Inhale, draw up again, this time coming up to high kneeling. Exhale, take hands behind you, forehead coming down towards the mat, almost moving through a child's pose. And then we inhale, reach the arms forwards, roll the body down, coming towards the belly. Exhale here, and then we inhale, lift the head, Lift the chest, finding baby cobra. Maybe those hands come off the mat. Exhale, push down through the hands, tuck under through the toes, drawing back, downward facing dog. So first one of the practice, maybe first one of the day. Again, just starting to activate through the feet. So as we inhale, coming up onto the toes. As we exhale, just drawing those heels back down. And they don't have to reach the mat. It's just an idea of where they're going. We're pushing down through fingertips here as well, starting to activate through the body. 
Maybe you take a bend through each knee, so you pedal through the feet. Just noticing how everything's feeling here. Really check in. And then from here, when we're ready, just rolling forwards, coming onto the knees, untucking toes, we land back in tabletop. So hands are stacked underneath shoulders, knees stacked underneath hips, and just moving through some cat cows. As we inhale, lifting up through the chest. As we exhale, rounding through the back, pushing down through the hands, allowing head to hang heavy. So just take a few more of these, inhaling. Taking the gaze forwards, lifting through the heart space, exhale, rounding. When we're ready, coming back, finding neutral. And just taking a second, taking your wiggle, side to side, maybe you move the hips side to side. And then starting to just push down through the left hand. So we really want to be pushing down through the left fingertips. So you almost want the wrist to be pushing down and the pads of the fingers to be pushing down. So it's almost like this kind of grip that we're making. So the palm of the hand might even be off the mat. It's this grip. And from here, just pushing down through that left hand. As we inhale, we just want to take that right arm forwards. So we're just reaching it forwards towards the front of the room, really extending through the fingertips. And we're already starting to engage here through that idea of balance. We're lengthening through that arm. So just taking one more inhale here. Exhale, taking that hand down. And then we come to take the other. So getting that grip with the right hand. And as we inhale, lifting up, drawing that left arm forwards. Taking the gaze forwards as well. And being aware of how the body's already starting to engage. So through the core. Inhale here. Exhale, release down, taking the same with the legs. So inhale, just taking that right foot out behind us. And you might choose to flex through the foot. You might choose to point through the toes, whichever it is, but just keeping the leg active. And helping with that balance here is our drishti, our gaze. So if we're focusing on something that isn't moving, that's gonna help us. So maybe the gaze is forwards, maybe the gaze is down towards the mat. Releasing that right leg and taking the left when you're ready. So inhale, just taking that left out behind us. And we're going to be playing with this idea of laddering today with growing the balance as we move forwards. Taking one more inhale here. Exhale, release down. So starting with these small balances and then moving into some bigger ones. So when we're ready, inhale here. As we exhale, just drawing back towards that kneeling position. And again, we're just going to keep building that warmth throughout the body. So inhale, draw the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down through heart center, and Jali Mudra, palms pushing together. Inhale again, we come up to high kneeling. Exhale, moving through that child's pose. So hands come behind us, palms towards the sky, forehead to the mat. As we inhale, hands start to reach towards the front of the mat. We roll the body forwards. Exhale as we come down, find the belly. Inhale as we lift up, baby cobra, lifting up through the chest. Maybe those fingertips come off. Exhale, push down through the hands, tuck under the toes, drawing it back, downward facing dog. And again, just taking a moment here. Noticing that connection with the mat. We're grounding down, planting, rooting the body through the toes, through the fingers. Always being aware of the parts of the body that are connected down. And then when we're ready, rolling forwards again, dropping knees, untucking toes, we land in tabletop. So this time, there is the option to just take those balances again. So one at a time, just taking the right hand forward and then the left and the legs. If you'd like to take it up a little bit, as we inhale, we're going to reach that right arm forwards, taking gaze towards the hands. But then we're also going to see if we can push down through the right knee, push down through the left hand and take that left leg out behind us. So we've almost got this push-pull effect now. The right arm is reaching forwards, left foot reaching back, almost like a piece of string. So we're finding that balance in the center with pulling forwards and pulling back, stretching everything out. So taking just one more inhale here. Exhale, release everything down. Maybe take a wiggle. 
and then we just come to the other side so this time left arm reaches out as it did before and then if you can push down through that left knee in towards the mat right leg is going to come out behind us so just really noticing that connection here right hand is gripping down left leg left foot gripping down staying with that breath One more inhale, exhale, gently release everything down, taking a breath in, and then as we exhale, just drawing back to that kneeling position again, and we'll work through this sun salutation again, so just keeping the body moving, inhale, draw arms up, exhale, hands down through heart center, Anjali Mudra, inhale, we rise up high kneeling, Exhale, working through that child's pose, forehead to the mats, palms up towards the sky. Inhale, arms reach forwards. Exhale, we roll down. Inhale, lifting up, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck under toes, draw back, downward facing dog. Take that wiggle, take the movements. Exhale, knees drop down. And we untuck toes, landing in that tabletop again. So this time again, building on that idea of balance, option to just take the first balances that we took again, just balancing each of the arms and each of the legs off, or maybe balancing one arm and one leg off at the same time. Or if you want to, as we inhale, taking that right arm forwards, taking that left leg back, and maybe you simply pause here. Or maybe starting to engage through that back leg, you start to kick the foot up, so kind of towards the glutes, and it might be that you take that right hand back, grab hold of the outside of the foot, and as you find that bind here, you're going to push the foot against the hand, allowing you to start to lift up through the chest, so taking that gaze forwards. And again, this balance is going to be slightly more difficult, so just focusing that gaze, that drishti on to something that isn't moving and remembering to keep the breath going so focusing on that breath inhaling and exhaling just taking one more inhale here exhale release down again maybe taking a wiggle side to side and then seeing if we can find the other side so this time as we inhale left arm goes out in front we take that right foot back and again, maybe you stay here, or maybe you kick that foot up and take that left hand back, seeing if you can find the bind with the foot. Pushing the foot against the hand, allowing you to lift up, so you're lifting through the chest as well. And really feeling into the wobbles. So the wobbles here is are the balance, you're balancing, that's why you've got the wobbling, you're pushing down through that right hand, pushing down through the left leg, connected to the floor. A few more breaths here. Taking one more inhale, exhale, gently release. Again, taking the hips side to side and then drawing back to kneeling on that exhale. Working through just one more seated sun salutation. So we inhale, arms come up, exhale, palms come down to the heart center. Inhale, rising up by kneeling. Exhale, draw it back child's pose inhale arms start to reach forwards roll the body down exhale as we find the belly inhale to pick up through the chest maybe taking those hands off baby cobra exhale tuck under the toes roll it back downward facing dog we're going to start to wind down through the practice now taking some pedaling out through the feet and then pushing down through that left foot as we inhale, right leg is going to come up behind us as we exhale, taking a bend through the knee and drawing that knee towards the right wrist, releasing that back leg down, releasing the back toes. And we're coming into here, we're going to take an active pigeon. So rather than coming down towards the mats, just using those hands to help you. And we're going to activate through the legs and just push through that right knee. So we're lifting up. Hands might come down for support. 
So we're really pushing through the right leg again, just working with that connection with the mat to keep us up. We won't be here for long, so just taking one more inhale. And then as we exhale, starting to release that right hip down and taking the hands forwards, coming into a pigeon. Might be that you take a cushion or a block underneath the right hip to give you a little bit more lift. And again, it might be with your pigeon that you're up on the hands, or it might be that you can come down quite easily and rest the head forwards. So just a few breaths here. Really just being aware of how this feels for the body. Just taking one more breath in. And as we exhale, starting to lift the head, using the hands to peel us back up. We're going to tuck under those left toes. And if you can, seeing if you can come back to that three-legged dog, so just sweeping that right leg back and up into the air. Exhale, drawing right leg down. Just realigning, so feet hip distance apart. So, and then pushing down through the right foot, we inhale, take the other side, so left leg sweeps up. Exhale, we draw it forwards, left knee to left wrist, taking that left knee down, untucking back toes, coming down onto the knee. And then if you can, using those hands to just lift you up. So we're activating through that left leg, just making this that little bit more active. And again, not long here. Taking just one more breath in. Exhale, and then releasing that left hip down. Again, maybe you take a block or cushion underneath the left hip and then starting to move forwards into our pigeon. And again, maybe you're up on the hands or maybe you release that head down. Option here as well to take a cushion or a pillow, bolster underneath the head as well for that support. Just a few breaths here. Taking just one more inhale, exhale, slowly starting to lift the head, taking those hands back in for support, tucking under the right toes, lifting up, seeing if we can stretch that left leg back, three-legged dog, and then exhale, draw that left leg down, and we're going to just tiptoe the feet towards the hands, taking a nice big bend through the knees, taking arms to opposite elbows and just allowing the head to hang heavy. So just coming into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Maybe you take a sway here, side to side, maybe you straighten through one leg, bend through the other. Staying with that breath. And then taking those hands down and gently just bending through the knees, using hands to help you coming down towards seated and taking soles of the feet together. So we're gonna to come into a nice Supta Baddha Konasana. So soles of the feet together, they don't have to be all the way in towards the hips, so just finding a spot that's comfortable. And then using the hands to help you just roll down onto the back. It might be that you take blocks underneath the knees, or maybe cushions, and taking the hands just onto the belly. Taking a wiggle, finding some stillness here. So taking any movement that you need before you come into that stillness. Just asking yourself if you could be just 10% more comfortable here, what would you choose to do? And it can be as simple as just moving through the hands, through the fingers, through the feet, or maybe just picking up the hips, placing them back down. It's just getting comfortable, closing down through the eyes. And just coming back to the breath. So we've been working hard through that lower body, really activating, finding those things that help us with our balance. So as we breathe here, really just focusing on each part of the breath. 
So as we inhale, breathing in through the nose, there's a natural pause, just a little retaining of the breath before we then exhale out through the nose again. And at the end of the exhale, you'll notice again, there's that little pause before we inhale. So really just being as aware as possible. Noticing that breath, noticing rise and fall of the diaphragm, of the belly. And seeing if we can just send that breath out to all of the parts of the body. So all the way to the outermost edges. And just coming back to that idea of practicing with kindness that we had at the start of class. Going back to those parts of the body that maybe were holding those little pieces of tension. And just seeing if we can send the breath to them. So if you were feeling tension in the shoulders as you breathe here, just imagine sending that inhale towards the shoulders, allowing them to release, to melt down. Allowing this body, your body, the time to reset and restore. Taking a nice releasing breath, so breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then using those hands to help you just draw knees back together, and then draw them back into the chest, moving slowly, lumbar spine grounding, taking a rock from side to side, and then allowing yourself to curl up. So towards the right hand side or the left hand side of the mat, just rolling over. You've got those knees in towards the chest and just take a few seconds here. And then slowly in your own time, using hands to draw you up. Coming up towards seated, you can keep the eyes closed. Just finding a comfortable position and taking palms together. Just rubbing them, creating some warmth. And placing hands over the eyes, just dropping chin down through chest. Taking a moment here, a moment of gratitude for just finding the time to come to the mat. Taking one more inhale. As we exhale, releasing those hands gently into the lap, just fluttering open eyelids, coming back to the room, coming back to the space. Uh, taking it slowly as you come out of practice. Um, thank you guys so much for practicing today. Um, if you did enjoy that class, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, or let me know if you're practicing. Um, it really kind of fills my heart with joy to see so many of you still practicing on the channel. Um, and yeah, there will be new classes soon. So I hope you have a lovely rest of the week.